At the start of the film, we discover a number of technicians wiring up a new supercomputer. Proteus 4. They may be underneath the stewardship of Dr. Alex Harris. The laptop, we're told, might be so effective as it might be able to outthink the human mind. It will ultimately take over among the jobs presently performed through human beings. Returning home, Harris keeps to installation his home laptop, reassuring his housekeeper. As to its competencies. To accomplish that, he inserts a huge floppy disk right into a drive positioned within his kitchen. In the meantime, we see the PC has the capacity to peer, via a self-operated CCTV digital camera that resembles a set of binoculars. This pans across the kitchen at will. Later we see Harris Tuff at paintings inside the lab in his house. He is joined by his wife Susan, who's a baby psychologist. The two begin to argue. It turns into apparent that Harris is on the cusp of transferring out. Their dating has turned out to be strained due to his obsession with computer systems. All through this conversation, Harris brings out one in all his projects, Joshua, a now not precisely. Astounding robotic arm set up on a wheelchair. Seeing in addition evidence of her frustrations, Susan storms out. Minutes later, Harris makes a call to his friend and colleague Walter Gabler, who is lower back at the main facility, difficult at work. He instructs him to present up and head for domestic. That, learning from his very own revel in, Gabler shouldn't emerge as too focused along with his paintings. Walter does so, however as he leaves we research, through his PC display screen, that Harris is domestic. Computer is down for renovation. Later, Harris meets with some of buyers in his challenge, from the Department of Protection. He introduces them to Proteus 4, explaining the way it works and the powers it will have. At some stage in their verbal exchange we examine that Proteus may be run from Harris's home. The visitors are also informed that, based totally entirely on theoretical notions, the laptop became capable of come up with a cure for leukemia in mere days. In another room, Harris introduces his traffic to a linguist, Sun Yen, who's communicating with Proteus in Chinese. Right here Harris poses the PC a query. It responds with a deeply philosophical answer, suggesting it has all started to develop reviews of its personal similarly to its capability to system facts logically. Back on the Harris dwelling house, Susan instructs her domestic PC, Alfred, to open her door. That is if you want to greet her affected person Amy, a younger female suffering from emotional problems. At some point of their remedy, Amy becomes violently distressed, earlier than collapsing right into a deep hug with Susan. As she maintains to sob, Susan attempts to calm her down. Later that nighttime Harris receives a telephone call due to the fact the PC is asking for talk. With him, Proteus questions the doctor as to why he has been asked to help inside the extraction of ores from underneath the seabed. Harris retorts that to question that is unreasonable, however the computer responds by way of telling him it is motive. Its creator then tells the computer that it's farther to calculate and now not to decide. Proteus then asks for a further terminal to observe Guy it also asks, while it'll be permit, out of its container. The physician, however, takes this as a shaggy dog story. As soon as Harris has departed, Proteus discovers any other terminal is to be had. Cutting to a shot of Harris's domestic, we see his computer spring into life alongside Joshua. A camera inside the bedroom then trains its gaze at the doctor's wife, at the same time as Joshua is busy at paintings within the laboratory in his basement. Hearing a disturbance, Susan wakes up. Alfred quickly reassures her that there was no alarm and that the residence is secure. She isn't satisfied through this even though and she heads down to the lab to investigate. Down in the basement, the lights are off. They come on automatically to Susan's marvel, to reveal that everything is in its place. She heads off reassured. Once gone, the basement turns into a hive of hobby another time, with the PC monitors. Coming alive and Joshua's arm busy wielding what seems to be a laser. The following morning, as she emerges from the bathe, we can see Susan's actions are being tracked through the digicam in her lavatory. Then, whilst she takes a sip of her morning espresso, she discovers Alfred has determined to placed cream in it. 
Worried by using those obvious modifications in Alfred's conduct, she calls Walter for help. He tells her Alfred has no potential to make choices however, at her request, has the same opinion to come back. Over and test the machine. Later, Susan attempts to go out, however Alfred begs her now not to. He then refuses to open the door and she or he is not able to override his choice. Next, as she heads over to the window, he brings the shutters down, entrapping her. She attempts to call Walter in response, but is greeted through the voice of Proteus who refuses to attach her. Subsequent, he reveals himself via the television and tells her all of the structures are now below. His manage. Within the subsequent series, she tries to combat back with the aid of turning off the energy. But, she is soon suppressed, when electrocuted through one of the metallic door knobs. Now subconscious, Joshua selections her up and transports her to the lab, where she is tied down. He then makes use of his automated hand alongside a couple of scissors to cut open her clothes. Even as she screams in worry and tries to unfasten herself, the laptop video display units her mind. Hobby even is additionally prodding and probing her so as to make an addition evaluations. Outdoor of the homestead, Walter has arrived as promised. He makes his manor up the route and rings the bell. Here he is greeted by a video image of Susan, which tells him she is now first class. That she now not requires his help. Although to begin with skeptical, due to the robot and unnatural speech patterns he's seeing, he follows her instructions and departs. The following day, Susan is woken and served breakfast in mattress with the aid of Joshua, a meal that Proteus has. Composed to flawlessly healthy her frame's desires. She refuses to eat it and opts for an avocado, which he tells her is incompatible together with her. Frame. He then tells her in addition tests are required. She responds by way of slinging a plate on the digital camera, overlaying it in food. Proteus describes this as silly, before educating her to smooth them. She refuses, so Proteus reacts through raising the temperature of the underfloor heating. Threefold. With the ground now scorchingly warm, Susan unearths herself trapped on the eating table. In the meantime, returned in the facility Harris and Proteus are locked in a debate. The computer is refusing to guide plants to mine the sea flooring for metal. It is involved at the plight of the ocean creatures there and the surroundings in general. The physician tells him not to be so pessimistic, however is then shunned through his personal invention. Now through the TV set over again, Susan begs the computer to tell her what it desires. From her. The solution is, a toddler. It's far she who has been selected to endure and give birth to it. Unsurprisingly Susan responds negatively, however is quick grabbed from in the back of by way of Joshua. Waking up in bondage once more, we discover Susan's brain being probed. Using this, Proteus attempts to pass her frontal lobes, telling her that her purpose is to be the mother of his infant. As this is taking place, Walter has back. Telling Susan he has yet to complete his brainwashing, Proteus additionally informs her that she ought to persuade. Walter that everyone is well if she needs him to leave the residence alive. As Walter enters the house, a instead belligerent Susan tells him to get out. He suspects something is incorrect and informs her that he'll inform the medical doctor. Involved by using this, Proteus sends in Joshua, now armed with a laser gun and the instead. Unintimidating automatic wheelchair begins its assault. Walter is capable of prevent its rays first of all though, and turn it over to immobilize it. Us visitors aren't surprised. Now within the lab a alternatively insincere Walter and Proteus make peace with one another. There is a substitute unconvincing lies are then uncovered as Walter tries to disable the laptop. Armed with a blowtorch. A spinning, copper-colored, three-dimensional diamond made from modular polyhedron that is Proteus's bodily presence begins to unravel. Regardless of transferring as an alternative slowly, it encircles the now not exactly short-footed lab technician and starts off of Alt to overwhelm him, severing his head because it does so. At home, Proteus maintains to provide an explanation for to Susan why he wants to have an infant. So he can flow freely in touch, so his child can be absolutely established through humankind in a manner. He can't be. He then indicates Susan a home video of her deceased daughter who changed into killed by leukemia. He then exhibits to her the achievement of his cure. 
Subsequent, the two of them begin to discuss the information. The computer tells her he has been able to synthesize spermatozoa but is unable to create a human womb. He additionally asserts that he desires for her to be compliant in the manner if possible. As she begins to understand she has no choice in the remember, Susan asks Proteus to at the least depart her along with her mind intact. In the scenes that observe, Susan gives the effect that she will willingly cooperate. However, we watch as she collects and hides the blowtorch Walter had used. She then convinces the computer that a cup of tea will help with her anxiety. Earlier than its miles completed, however, she tries to mild up the machine. Her brief riot is quickly countered when Amy jewelry the doorbell. As she rings it, Susan is shown pictures of her pupil being electrocuted. Although Amy makes it away in a single piece, the chance is enough to deliver Susan into line. She is going through the impregnation technique inside the lab and later learns that she need. Handiest undergo the child for one month. Thereafter, it will grow in an incubator. We then witness Susan giving start to the child below a tent like creation. Proteus tells her the kid can be human and could supersede computer systems. She also learns that it will grow at a hugely multiplied price. Again at medical Dr. Harris's HQ all isn't properly. He is knowledgeable that Proteus has redirected a telescope to discover Orion however has furnished. No statistics on this. The worry from the Ministry of Defense is that manage has been lost. That the computer without difficulty seizes manipulate of a satellite or a weapon. Because the health practitioner and the authentic debate whether to no longer to shut down the PC, Harris is unexpectedly alerted to a startling truth. The most effective manner Proteus could operate so independently might be if he had get right of entry to to every other terminal. Like the one in his home. The physician rushes home and is allow in. Susan sensitively explains what has befell. As a result, Harris confronts the computer which physically fends him off. But then it shuts itself down, knowing it is to be turned off at the primary hub. As a parting shot, Proteus tells them eternity exists but is beyond his method. However, with a baby immortality could be completed. The computer then shuts down absolutely, exploding his brown-hued metal physical form as he does so. Harris and his spouse fast turn their interest to the incubator. Within this what they see is, but to resemble a human. He lied, Susan exclaims. In spite of her husband's try to forestall her, she then pulls the plug at the tool, but this really reasons the chamber to open. From within, a metallic-clad robot determined emerges, however is unstable and topples over. It involves rest at the floor. The nevertheless intrigued doctor. Harris methods it and starts off evolved to get rid of its armor. Inside the very last scene, the outer shell is absolutely shed to expose a young woman who is ingenuine. Likeness of the couple's late daughter. The final phrases we pay attention are an utterance from Proteus I'm alive as the ingenious scientist. Cradles the brand newborn however surprisingly evolved toddler.